Hi guys, it's Vicky with another tutorial. Yay! A lot of you asked me to do a floating tutorial. Oh, like these pictures I'm going to show you right now. Mm -hmm. These seem to be some of my popular images. So I'm going to be showing you today how to make yourself float. You need to really be careful with taking a picture right and taking your time because it can be kind of stressful since as you can see here I'm on a stool and then to have a little bit of a cleaner look I take another picture of me you know float kind of floating off of my stool make sure not to flex your butt because it might not look so flattering after you've taken your pictures with a lot of care and take your time might it might get a little stressful and it might hurt after a while doing the weird levitating off your whatever you're levitating off of but it might save you a lot of time later on make sure you get every part of your body that needs to be in there in the past I've cut off my arm and I had to go back and take the pictures all over again and it sucks so make sure you take your time and get all of it so let's bring in this picture right here this is gonna be kinda like my base picture so let's begin by doing control J you know to making a copy of the background layer here I'm just gonna crop it a little bit oh uh, not that make sure it right here it's on it depends really what you want to do if you want to make it square for Instagram size you can just do that I'll do that just because I that's what I usually do most of the time and then I'm gonna straighten it a little bit then I'll press enter okay then I'll bring in our other picture right here ooh that's look at that pose very artistic you know after a while I just stopped caring that's a very sweet pose look at that nice okay so after you get your picture in let's start by rasterizing the layer so right click the layer and rasterize oh and let me just delete my face because it's just oh god there we go that's a lot better already so basically I, I'm just gonna start erasing parts that just like the legs and the arms right here but keeping you know the under butt area and maybe like this area just fine and just this area just not deleting it I'm gonna do a mask for this so press right here the little square with a little circle in the middle the add layer mask button then with the brush make sure it, right here the black is on top white on bottom black means kind of like erase this will basically erase your layer without making it <coughs> permanent I guess you can say non-destructive layer it's called so you can erase and if you oh no I didn't want to do that you can just press X right here to change it to white and paint over it again isn't that nice yes it is so I'm gonna start line it up with the other butt first. Uh, it's like, like right there, right around there. That looks good. And I'm just gonna delete or brush over an erase, kind of basically what it is. I might fast forward this so you don't have to stare at the screen of me just erasing for however many minutes it takes me. So fast forward, start!
Alright, so after you get it into something similar to this, for me, for my case at least, you can see there's still some smudges, <clears throat> some imperfections that you could easily fix with either the spot healing brush or stamp it out, whatever you might want to do. That's it, this is how you do floating. Hope you guys like this tutorial. I'm hoping to at least have one video a week or one video every other week. These are pretty time consuming sometimes because I have to edit them. So I'm sorry if I sometimes miss a week. But I will definitely try to get them out as much as possible. Thank you guys for watching. And sorry for my face again. That's very, very bad.